Number 82. To prepare for a laboratory period, a student lab assistant needs 125 grams of a compound. A bottle containing one-fourth pound is available. Did the student have enough of the compound? Okay, so basically we have to convert pounds into grams because that way you can compare your two answers, right? Remember, you can't compare apples to apples. You got to compare, well, sorry, you can't compare apples to bananas. You got to compare apples to apples. You got to compare two things that are the same unit. So in order to see if I meet that requirement of 125 grams, I first got to convert my pounds into grams. Now they tell me that it's one fourth pound, but just know, and I specifically don't like to use fractions, so I would just divide that out. I know that one fourth of a pound is equal to 0.25 pounds. So all we got to do is convert pounds to grams. And do we have a direct conversion? If we look at our mass uh, conversion factor chart, one pound equals 453.59 grams. So yeah, we do know a direct conversion. So this is only a one step problem. So let's give it a shot. 0 0.25 pounds times by a ratio, pounds goes on the opposite side, and grams goes up on top, and the conversion is one pound, so one pound goes on the bottom, 453.59 grams goes up on the top, pounds cancel out, and you're left with 113.39, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just say 0.4 grams. Now, the sig figs here don't really necessarily matter because they didn't ask for the specific amount. They just asked, did the student have enough? So if I was going by the 0.25, I would need two sig figs here. So the one and the one would count. So this would technically be 110 grams if we were doing sig figs. So that's the same thing as saying one-fourth of a pound. One-fourth of a pound is 100, roughly 110 grams. And that's how much that this student has. However, they need 125 grams. So does the student have enough? The answer is no, because they have less, right? 110 grams is less than the 125 that is needed. So does the student have enough? No, unfortunately, the, the student lab assistant does not have enough. But that's all that this question was asking for. Simple conversion, then you just compare the two numbers, and that's that. Guys, I hope this helped. If it did, give us a like and tell us about it in the comments, right? And I will see you all in the next question, number 83, probably doing more conversions, maybe density, who knows? We'll, we will see. It's a mystery. But anyway, have an awesome day, guys. See you then.